Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Y'all of Yeast and Linda. Reviewing more beer for, from our little share. Uh, moving into more Imperial Stout that's been barrel aged. This is one of the OG, I don't know, whales, but OG hype beers from when I was getting into craft beer. Uh, this is from Brooklyn Brewery, and this is none other than Brooklyn Brewery's Black Ops. So, this is not really hyped anymore. But uh, in the past, people went nuts for getting this. And, uh, yeah, I actually got this from Brooklyn Brewery, which was funny. I got it from, I th well, technically, I guess, from Carlsberg, actually. Uh, because they were at the... Carlsberg has a partnership with Brooklyn in Europe. Distributing some of the beers, and then they build a brewery with them in Sweden or something. But uh, Paul, uh, I think it's called Super Paul on Instagram, uh, was serving there. I think he works for Carlsberg, or maybe he was just a volunteer. I, I can't remember. Sorry, dude. But uh, he was chatting with me and we we're trying some beers and like one of them like a barrel aged barley wine was like really good and one of them was like do you want a bottle to review and he was like well I'll take a Black Ops because I never had it and then I'm really try it. so because that was one of those OG whales and I never tried it so it'll be fun to get this one ticked finally um, so yeah Brooklyn Black Ops Black Ops the idea is like this is a rare beer it just, no one knows it exists like the Black Ops uh, and the thing with this one is that they put it in burn barrels and then they do it with a flat beer and then they recarbonate it with champagne yeast afterwards. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of different. It's 10.7% uh, aged in the burn barrels for six months. So this will be. Do they have a uh, zombie mode? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but that's a fun gameplay mode in Black Ops. Yeah. We played it the last time we cooked. Yeah, we did. We cooked the uh, pork cheeks. But pours a pretty much pitch, pitch black, black. Yeah. color in the glass. Beige. Beige tan kind of head. Tan brown, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Gummy, like like really dark fruit gummy candy for me. Yeah, kind of. Vegan gummy. gummy yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wine gums. Hmm. Like very old school smelling too. And very British. And some roast underneath and some charred oaky notes. But not... Crazy but ones the candy it. flavor yeah, actually, it takes it, over. It, it, it kind of smells a little bit uh, like a Rotenbach or something. Yeah, I can see what you mean. <laughs> like a little bit like... Uh, Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. I don't think it's so. I never good. had it. it good, well, I, actually, I had a sample at the beer festival, but I never reviewed it. I, mean, so, but I can see what you mean. Yeah. Like an almost sourness. Like a gun Well, maybe there was something wrong. I don't know, because when we popped this, the cork just exploded out of the bottle, like, poof, almost hit you in the face, and yeah. then gushed. So, I don't know, but... <laughs> I mean, it's licorice it's roasty. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Let's see how it is. Brooklyn Black, Black Ops, after reviewing beers for almost nine years. <laughs> Black Ops. Cheers. And thanks to Brooklyn for the beer. Oh, not like that on the flavor. It's just old school. I think it's just yeast esters. Oh, it's a really old school British style imperial stout. Yeah. Light, medium, silky mouthfeel. And l just lots of dark fruit. Yeah, and, 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 and nice uh, sweetness to it. Yeah. Hmm? I, I think it still has the wine gum kind yeah. of uh, taste to it. Uh, like the uh, red... Bassett's all sorts. The red, the red Bassett all sorts. I, uh, complete, almost like a vineyard. Yeah, uh, a tone. bit Bassett yeah. kind of taste. Yeah. yeah, not Besset Hound. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Tastes like Besset Hound. No, <laughs> let me fuck. I don't taste too much Besset Hound these days. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but it's 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 very old school tasting. It's yeah. it's actually mm. kind of the, the 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 it's got very aggressive carbonation, which I guess is from the champagne yeast. Mm. But it's got some pretty good flavor. Uh, old school, as I said, like big esters, like big. Like Bassett wine gums, dark fruit, a little bit of roastiness, mm. some dryness from the yeast as well, dry oak, and then bourbon. But it's not like crazy fudgy bourbon. It's just like a nice mm. touch of bourbon. Not, yeah, but, uh, but still the sweetness of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, would I say, it, for me, is uh, the, the 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 taste that goes most yeah. through. And it's nice. It's got some sweetness because it's actually also quite dry. Yeah. So the sweetness balances out. It's and it's a nice. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah, it is a sweet, slightly fudgy bourbon character. Yeah. Yeah, but I get the bourbon too. Maybe a little bit of red apple. The uh, the wine gum kind of flavor that comes into play is like a, a mix of like sweet licorice and yep. uh, almost like a, 
hvad hedder hende der? Raspberry mm. uh, winegum. Mm. So sweet licorice and winegum bears with the uh, yeah. stro- uh, not strawberry. Uh, Himba. Raspberry. Uh, raspberry. Raspberry. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually gonna go straight 90. It's actually a pretty decent barrel aged, more old school imperial stuff. Yeah. And it's uh, definitely got a whole lot more soul and character than Brewdog. Because <laughs> yeah. that beer was just so disappointing. What a pity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'll go a bit higher, Peter. I think I'll go 92. Uh, I like it. Um, maybe a little too much carbonation, but I like this old school version. Yeah. Mm. Oh. The wild card. What do you think? Uh, actually, I'm gonna go 90 as well. Uh, but I think I think it's interesting. It's it's an interesting uh, kind of mishmash thing between. Uh, an old school stout, uh, which is not too heavy, yeah, uh, but paired with those sweet notes of wine gum bears, uh, crazy esters, man. It's, it's it's weird but good, kind of like bacon and pancakes, <laughs> which is good as well. That's weird but good together. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Very fun beer to try, nostalgic old school stuff. Thanks a ton to I guess Paul slash. Osberg slash Brooklyn, let's give it to all of them for, for sharing this one with us. Finally got to try Black Ops uh, on the channel. So if you guys had a chance to try the 2017 mm-hmm. Brooklyn Black Ops, let us know what you thought of it. Uh, it's not something I'd like go out of my way like crazy to get, but if I had the opportunity, it's something like, yeah, I'd try To be honest, I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Oh, I, I think it is. I, it's is similar it? to what I remember from having it at the oh, yeah. festival. Because... Uh, usually you you wouldn't get that the uh, wine gum kind of flemish well, beer tea. Dude, if you try the there. really old school imperial stouts, a lot of them have that. Like okay. The old school British ones. Yeah. Like this wine gum, best is wine gum character. So. Okay. Well and, then it's uh, and it, there's like when you taste it now there's like there's like no sourness. There's no sourness. No. So because you wouldn't get that flavor. Either. It's a it's a fun ester. So but that's some foodiness. Yes. So if you guys have just tried the Brooklyn Black Ops from 2017, let us know what you thought of it. Do you have a favorite vintage? Uh, I remember back in the day, one of the beers that made me go nuts was their double black, uh, double chocolate. No, black chocolate stout or something like that. Mm. It was not with chocolate. It was just chocolate malt, but it was very good. But old school stuff that's very nice. So. If you guys had a chance to try it, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review. Yeah. Yes, yes.